Hi, this is Mike and we're looking at the Bitcoin chart. So the reason I haven't been posting the last few days is because I'm in the process of partnering up with an exchange and I will be a copy trader. <clears throat> so my, my primary objective is to basically scalp the market and like this move here, which was a pretty good move down, uh, except I think it's just a B wave. Okay, so those details will be available on my website shortly, hopefully, um, because that's where you can copy trade me if you want to, if you don't want to learn RS wave, but learning it will help you understand what I do anyway. So after seeing this whole thing play out since that last idea, basically it became obvious that that was an A wave that was very weird. Okay, it was, it's basically one of the weirdest A waves I've ever seen. And this D wave here was weird too, but the one thing that gave it away for me was this E wave, weak five wave move in opposite direction after what looked like a zigzag. So to me, a break of that low here sent me short, uh, except I had to wait for a bounce. I was asleep. And then today, boom, that's fine. And the evidence became clear during the process of this unfolding, right? Uh, to sort of indicate, well, okay, that's a correction. If anything, let's just trade the market the way it should be traded at the short term degree. Because remember what I told you always was there's only two patterns that markets produce and it's a three wave move and a five wave move, right? So looking at the bigger picture, I saw this as an A wave zigzag. Uh, this part was weird, but then this helped a lot the rest of this correction uh, for the C wave down. But that's all it is. That's what I think it is. I wouldn't expect it to go much lower apart from potentially just bottoming out before a reversal happens, uh, which does now lend itself to the idea that the upside, there's probably not going to be much more upside unless we get some really bizarre looking zigzag pattern in the in the full, you know, after it's all done. But the evidence will come when we see five up, three down, five up. Same as this small degree pattern, but in a bigger way. Okay, now it's just a longer term, like a longer, more drawn out sort of correction. Okay, so <clears throat> in that case, this one here looks like a weak wave one. A, B just happened, completed now. And C wave in progress, soon, not yet. So wait for the C wave. That'll be interesting uh, to see. Um, it, it's basically going to be another one of these, except maybe just a bit bigger, right? This whole pattern here, what you see here, right, is going to repeat again, right? Arius wave always repeats. It's a fractal pattern. Okay, so I'm keeping my trades private for now. I'm not. I'm not posting any anything until this deal goes through. Um, also takes a lot of work on the back end to set up all these documents and, uh, partnering up means, yeah, I will be promoting it, uh, because that's what I, that's, that's what happens, right? You know, you, you gotta, you gotta do this stuff when you get, when you become somebody who talks about waves the way I do, you gotta, you gotta make moves, right? It's obvious. So please learn it. Arius wave. If you don't want to learn it, that's fine. Copy trading on the way, but I will be focusing more on short-term moves because they make profits quick and you can turn them around. You can turn them around quicker. The larger pattern, I've explained it many times. I'm expecting this thing to go lower. I have come up with another scenario though, another potential scenario, which I will share with you this weekend. Okay. I'm going to share a bull scenario. Right, I, I've found a potential bull scenario, which I'm working on currently. Uh, that's what I've been doing in my spare time when I'm not trying to set up this partnership. Um, so basically it's painting a picture. I'll give you a rough, a rough um, outline. So since 2015, I said we've had a week five wave move up, right? And any week five wave move has to be retraced completely right? But this idea looks at potential possibilities 
that basically that five wave move up hasn't finished yet right it's it's basically saying that it's it's working with the idea that this bitcoin is only going to last a certain amount of time before it's gone right before it get, gets taken over by something else this is my opinion right not financial advice and that pattern may still be unfolding it may not be over yet and it may not be over for a little while yet and we could see some big potential upside and if we do it's going to be very interesting. <clears throat> so the count, I've been looking at micro level waves and the count seems to almost suggest that it's a possibility. So please stay tuned for that one. For now, I would just leave this alone because this is pure correction, right? Symmetry in the markets means that we're probably going to see, right? Once again, my opinion, the type of head and shoulder pattern that basically does this for the shoulder, this for the head, and this for the shoulder, right? It, it's not going to just go down from here, even though I said in the last idea, but I didn't see the rest of this pattern, right? Now it's become a bit more obvious. It's going to chop out like crazy. So I wouldn't go worrying too much about getting into big moves right now. If you're going to do anything at the moment, trade short scalps, you know, if I get this deal through shortly, hopefully by the end of today or even tomorrow, I'll start posting something maybe about the C wave up that's coming, which I believe is coming. It may not happen, right? I'm not a financial advisor, but um, yeah. So I want to I want to try and be across everything from copy trading, uh, trading the other account that I'm given, and also um, posting ideas on good trades, probably short-term scalps, but with the with the idea that we could be dealing with the bull scenario as well as a bear scenario. So I'm going to be having like opposing views, but looking for evidence during the process of the trading in order to um, not get wrecked on trades because I have to up my game even more now. Um, so my time is limited. So, but I will still try and post this stuff. And if you can try and learn the methodology, support the work, uh, that's great. It'll help it grow. And also try to boost it a bit too by pressing like, boost, whatever. That helps it too. Yeah. If, if you really care about this work, thanks for watching.